Get yeah. everybody rotate. Watch out, bees. Me on me, Rain is right here, Rain is right here. Behind, 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 behind. Nice, good shoot. What up, YouTube? It's the Kid J. Missing coming up with another banger video. In this video, we're going to dive into something a lot of you guys have been struggling with. I've seen tons of comments and questions about this, so I'm here to break it all down for you. Let's get started. So the first place this game brings you is to basic training, and I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your crosshairs right from here. As you start the game and you go into basic training and the game takes you here, as you can see, I have the default crosshairs that the game gives me. And as I pick up a gun... You can see it shows me when I'm moving and not, and you don't want these crosshairs and you're trying to figure out how do I change my crosshairs from this, right? So you don't want these crosshairs, right? You have the default crosshairs. You can see when you're moving, all that stuff. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to go right into settings. And then from settings, I already have some crosshair set up. So we're going to go to settings. You got to click on your D-pad. So let me just zoom in for you guys. Click on your touchpad or your settings pad. Touchpad right here. That would allow you to change from your default profile. From there, as you can see, I already have crosshair set up, but I can click down R3 on my analog stick, your right analog stick to create a profile. Here's how I create a new style. They already give me some styles where you can have your cross style. As you can see, I have crosshair nine. You could change whichever crosshair that you're using right from here. So it has changed from when the game previously came out. This is what they've done to make things simpler for you guys. And then from here, these are the crosshairs that I have. Hold down there, Brimstone. So now that I have my crosshairs, I can adjust what I need accordingly. I could change my crosshair color. As you can see, I've changed it to pink. I can, I'm just going to go down the list so you guys can see what I have, all right? And if you're looking for any specific crosshairs, let me know, and I'll try to create those as well because these all do translate right over from PC. You may not be able to take the code from PC, but you could definitely make the crosshair just the same. I'm going to show you guys my settings for my main account after that. So this, these are just the crosshairs. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go through this just to show you guys, all right? So now I have my crosshairs, right? So now we're just good. We can just walk through. They use a focus or not. Boom, boom, boom. Tell me about the spike. This is something that you guys got to learn, though. Buy station. You guys don't have a lot of time with the buy station, right? Uh, the buy station, you don't, they don't allow you to move while you have the buy station open. So getting to where you want, especially on defense and setting up proper abilities, is important and vital to the game. Oh, my God. Did they really want me to do this? That's crazy. Booyah. Console beta done out the way. So boom. Now that we've done that, again, I'm going to show you guys the settings that you guys need to adjust. In controls under advanced, this is a setting that you must change if you want to aim effectively. Console Valorant has added dampened shooting sensitivity. You want to take this off so that it doesn't mess up your aim when it comes to trying to recoil control to actually shoot your gun. For advanced players, as you can see, dampened shooting sensitivity, it reduces your aim sensitivity while firing. So it's not going to feel the same as PC if you have this on. Same thing with taking walk while in focus. These are settings that you want to take off and of course vibration do not play with vibration on after you've done those things these are the rest of the settings that i have on you can put down your dead zone for your l2 and r2 down to 0 0.01 equip fast melee on and here are the rest of the advanced settings that i have as you can see from there my movement threshold is at 0.85 my movement dead zone is at 0.2 and my default is not on walk but it's on run so that if i want to just run i could just i could just walk off for it from there here are, here are my aim sensitivities 10 10 base focus is eight ADS is 8, and my sniper is 7-7. Seven, seven. From here, my inner dead zone for aiming is 0.7, and my outer dead zone is 0.97. My base aim curve is smooth, and everything else is light. After that, these are my binds. I do, again, use a custom controller that has some custom settings you can check out that video if you want full details this is just for aiming and the settings that i have on from that after that as you can see these are my crosshairs that i've created as my profile you click on the d-pad and then you can press r3 from here to create a profile after that as you can see the rest of my sensitivities is yellow due to Renopia, bullet tracers on and everything else is on and as you can see these are my map settings on on all the way my map size is as big as possible so that i don't have to look as much i can see the map while also looking at my gun so i hope these settings help this is just a quick guide to set up settings for your crosshairs in valorant remember the perfect crosshair is different for everyone so don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you if you found this guide helpful make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more valorant tips and tricks thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces